Hello, welcome back to Halo Reach Part 10. Yep, and um, there is no Quijin in this. Um, no, I have vacated the area. I mean, relentless. Well, it's Quijin on the Xbox, but relentless on. No, not anymore. No, that's a good point. What is your new name? I should have been your daddy. I S W H Y B D. Is it? I don't know. I yes. L. Really? Wow. I just. Yeah. I just. I knew what the letters were. I just didn't know what order they were. I probably could have figured it out. <laughs> well, I definitely could. Yeah, I, I should, I it's study. Is you a the widget? There we are. Anyway, I'm actually <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually completing the game alone on legendary at the moment, and I only recently did this mission. Boom. Um, I only recently did this mission. Um, and this one was actually quite easy. I was I was expecting it to be a lot harder than it was, mainly because there's a lot of things that can kill you really quickly. But the mission after this, which I'm on at the moment, oh god! Because it's easy enough to take out elites when you do it legendary alone. You may think you may think not, but it's easy enough because you're doing um, overcharged plasma pistol. So you never bloody invite me to party. Um, overcharged plasma pistol, and then. Um, one headshot with pretty much any precision weapon, really, and then instant kind of death there and then. But brutes don't have shields. Which yeah. Means Astro Fiddle's completely pointless, which means you just have to kind of kind of go over and over and over and over and over again, and just it's keep painful. shooting. It's painful. And also, it takes a bloody long time because I'm not that great a kind of campaign player. Um, and I mean, it's take. Yeah. Ta <laughs> yeah, um, and it takes me probably, I'd say, um, I don't know, for, for generally a level, I mean, this level I'm on now, I mean, I've spent about an hour on it already, and I'm probably not even halfway yet. Yeah. And, I mean, usually, the ones before that have taken me about 50 minutes to an hour per one. Which is alright. Mm. I mean, this guy here is carrying a rocket launcher with three ammo, so... Let's get that saber before he changes his mind. It doesn't matter, it's a rock launcher. As long as it makes a thing go boom. Good elite. Pointless place. It's two assassinations already. Wow. Anyway, I don't think you've actually come across one of these relentless. What's that? Um I, I know a lot of people that haven't come across any of these. They're all one they no one knows about them. Ooh. I can't read that, I'm, on, I'm watching on too small a screen. So read amongst I can't screen. read, I'm watching on a big screen and I still can't read it. I know, but you're watching a ridiculously low quality version. 48452. Yep, I, I don't know. I, however, is the opinion of the majority that merely illuminating? I don't know. Anyway, so that's a data thing. Does nothing for the game, nothing whatsoever, completely pointless just gives you some background information. Anyway, there's a sword here. I tell you, you should go and pick that up for the rocket launcher, but I wasn't thinking properly this day. And so, you will, it will come, in, in the next part, it will come across and you'll be all like, oh, that's why. But at the moment, I was like, oh, cutscene, never mind, shut up. This could have been more impressive. I know, it's so good. Huh? I know. Go, George! You're weighing everything down! In a way, it's kind of alright that they didn't make it too epic, though. I thought it would have been really good if it just, like, shot off at light speed. That would have been so funny. It's like, yeah, but It's more... <laughs> Halo and the wood realistic don't mix, you know, but it is more realistic in the fact that it's just completely smooth, kind of no problems, sort of take off. Yeah. And all this stuff. Where it's all like first engine burn, phenomenal and all that. Because this level, although, uh, this kind of year, they would have mastered everything, wouldn't they? Oh, let's just. Oh, there we go. Rude word. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I'm not gonna take it out. Who cares? Did you realize you were recording? Yeah. Uh, what do you mean? Did I realize or did he realize? No, no. Did you realize, like, wh when you opened the message? Yeah, yeah. I, just thought, I, I got the general gist of what he'd probably be saying. Yeah. All right. Anyway, this is the area for our next battle. Doesn't really look like a battle area anyway. This is what I was on about in the last part, saying that it's kind of not like Halo to do this sort of thing, but they've made it very Halo. Complicated. It's like the idea of it, the kind of space battle and spaceship and everything, isn't a very kind of Halo sort of concept because I mean Halo is like fighting kind of not kind of fighting la la like land and infantry and stuff, not fighting kind yeah. of space battles, that's more Star Wars -y stuff, kind of stuff. Um, yeah, I um, know what you mean. But they somehow made it very Halo-like. Hail again. <laughs> Trying to make it look epic. <laughs> Failing. Anyway, we've got two types of weapon. One which is kind of like a normal sort of kind of powerful I don't know, I think it's like the concussion rifle, I think it's going to have a powerful rifle. Yeah, that, that's a good description of it, concussion rifle. And then you've got the, kind of, just a homing rocket launcher missile thing. Um, which they both have, I mean, the concussion rifle's brilliant for fighting against the banshees. That come and then there's the thing called the, oh my god, I forgot the name, Seraphs. And um, then there's the Seraphs that kind of, if you... They they can't they if you you they need have, uh, they have shields so you, you need, need to take the shield down first before you can use the uh, like missile things yeah so yeah it can be very tedious they're not as they're not as hard as it might seem no uh, but on legendary it's actually really quite hard because you do have to be really con you see in the top corner of your kind of crosshair kind of yeah. screen in the middle it says your shield your your, um, your shield and your hull I think it says yeah um, and your shield is like well it's kind of the same thing as your normal kind of spot health you know but um, mm -hmm. on legendary it goes down really quickly a couple of shots and your shield will be completely down about three or four more shots like a normal thing, you will probably be dead. So it's really about yeah. eight or nine shots, and you will be dead, sort of thing. So it's really kind of run away, evasive maneuvers, run, uh, kind of thing. <laughs> but it's not actually that bad. It's a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be terrible. Also, somehow managed to take mm. out the pants quicker than I've ever taken them out before as well. <laughs> don't know how. <laughs> they just weren't shooting me. I don't think I've died yet in this part, have I? I actually haven't died that many times during the, this let's play. Anyway, these are the Seraphs. Shoot them with a the thingy, turn to your homing missile on, share with the log on, then fire the missiles. On Legendary, they actually have evasive maneuvers, so they can avoid your missiles. Which makes it reasonably hard. But Lot the time they yeah. They look damn awesome anyway. They're all like s kind of streamlined. And everything. And everything. <laughs> Large attack force inbound. So this is just a mixture of the two types that just attacked us. Banshees and things. Banshees are the easiest. They die so quickly. Which is ironic because you're all like, oh thank god it's a banshee. But usually it's all like, oh crap it's a banshee. When you're playing normally. <laughs> is that it? A banshee? <laughs> is that the best you've got? Oh crap a banshee! <laughs> <laughs> They don't even realize I'm here on this difficulty. Imagine what it's like on easy. This is normal. We die from like a shot. <laughs> they also have like a kind of a. kind of a. I don't know how to describe it. 
the thing that happens with the crosshair when you kind of shoot. Yeah. Okay, where it kind of moves. It's like a targeting kind of like where you should shoot if you want to hit it. Uh huh. But a lot of the time it's just kind of wrong. It doesn't work. <laughs> You're shooting right in the middle of it, and it's like I'm shooting. Yeah. But it just doesn't work, so you eventually kind of go, well, I personally think that if I shoot here, it's not like, oh, that got it. <laughs> but, yeah. There's also a lot of, kind of, people going around. I, I believe, actually, Enmity, I, I know you're watching this. Um, you've done this. Um, got commendations, like, to full and onyx and stuff. And there's quite a few cheats on how you get them. I believe the ones you've got under here, like, um, isn't it, I don't know, I can't remember which ones you've got, anyway, there's like, ones that you get on this mission, which is for killing people in a vehicle, which you just complete this, you just redo this mission over and over and over again, and it's like, ridiculously simple and easy, and like, yeah. you get those commendations really quickly, then there's another one where you fire, um, you know the target locator in the second mission? You kind of skip out all the enemies in that first area and then just kind of run. Um, and then you run to the... Whoa, that's a very orange screen. And then you run to the um, target locator and kind of shoot you shoot them all using it and you'll get like instant killian air and like yeah. some credits and stuff. And it's like a ridiculous way to farm credits. But to be honest, I, I don't, I, number one, I don't have the patience for it. And number two, I think it's kind of cheating, so I'm not really going to do that. Unless I'm desperate for like a piece of armor eventually. But otherwise, yeah. that's not my style. But you know, oh, it helps. I can hear your video in the background. Can you? You're slightly behind me, I believe. Don't lie. Now you won't be able to. <laughs> it wasn't bothering. But yeah, I mean, I, I like um. Oh, you you don't like my operator helmet, do you? No. I don't know why. I've got the scout I really like now, by the way. The which one? The scout one, you know, um, tunes. Oh yeah. Nice. Nice. <laughs> I need to change my avatar so it ha so I have a meal's helmet. Ah, uh, you see, I had a meal's helmet like light years before you. Huh? You get it, light years? Ah ha ha! Ah ha! Because you're in space. Ah ha! Ah, it's like it's like. Anyway, this is a cutscene. We shouldn't be talking. They're gonna start talking. I'm gonna oh. eat Go, George, you crazy bastard. Oh, sorry, I can't say that. There might be little kiddies watching. Shh! Shut up! On this, um, on Halo Reach, I've had actually quite a few people saying that they find it really off in the camera, in the cutscenes, but I actually really like it, because they, what they've done is they've, if, if you notice kind of about, I don't know, about 80 or 90% of the time, they kind of use cameras that you could probably kind of, like this one, attached onto like a thingy with like that UNSC thing in the bottom corner and stuff, like a proper kind of camera that would be fixed to a piece of machinery and stuff. Like CCTV? Yeah. They use it all the time. They use it on Halo. Re oh, see you next time. 